All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are at. Uh, so in this example, we're gonna be talking about solving for our time now as our interest is gonna be occurring um, over some kind of time here. So check out this problem right here. So we wanna find the number of years to the nearest hundred that, that it'll take for money to, for money deposited into an account paying 4% interest compounded semi-annually to double. So if we just put money in a, in a pot, uh, how long is it gonna take to double, right? Like that's what they're asking. And so we need to solve for, for T. Um, and so again, we're gonna use our same formula that we, uh, that we learned about. Um, our amount is equal to our, our principal, uh, one plus um, R over N, to the power of N times T. Right where this is our, our our rate, this is how it's compounded, and this is for how long. So we want to know when is this principal? When is it going to double? Right. So really, we're going to let a um, equal two p because we want to know when is p going to become two p. So I'm going to say two p is equal to uh, this guy right here. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense right there because that's what the problem. Is saying is when is it going to double right here? Okay, so now let's just uh, plug in what we have and let's go from there. So we obviously don't know what the principal is. So we'll say we wanna double the principal equals principal times one plus our rate. Let's see, it says it's 4%. So four one hundredths. And when is it being compounded? Semi-annually, so that's two times a year. So that's two. So our N again will be two. And we don't know our time. And actually, that's what we're trying to find is our is our t. You're like, oh, but wait a minute, there's, a, there's two variables. Okay, well, if you look right here, it's actually going to be pretty easy to eliminate that by, um, by just, let's see, what can we do here? Yeah, we can just d divide both sides or multiply both sides by 1 over p. So if I divide this side by p and that side by p, then we get uh, 2 equals 1 plus uh, 0.042, all that raised to the power of 2t. Cool. So really what we see here now is we can you know, introduce our log properties that we've been learning, and we can take the log of both sides. This is one of the, those properties that we learned um, a few sections back. And so let's just go ahead and take the log of both sides. So the log of 2 is equal to the log of the, the quantity 1 plus 0 0.04 over 2 um, to the power of 2t. Great. So that's helpful because now we can bring down our 2t. All right, so we have log of 2 is equal to, so now I'm going to bring this guy down in front. This is our power rule, 2t times the log of 1 plus uh, 0.04 all over 2. Cool beans. Um, let's see what else. Well, since this is a product, we can get rid of this entire numerical value by dividing this entire side by log of one point or one plus four hundredths over two and do the same thing on this side. Kind of a little hairy number there. Sweet. So that's all gone right there. So we have a 2t is equal to this whole guy over here. So log of 2 all over log of 1 plus 4 one hundredths over 2. Um, and last but not least, we can divide by 2 or multiply it by a half. I think that's going to be a little bit easier here. So we'll go ahead and just multiply that by a half, which is the, the same thing as dividing by 2. So we'll have our exact answer now as t is equal to a half times log of 2 all over log of 1 plus 0 0.04 over 2. There it is. So tell your friend, hey, how long did it take it to double? It took a half times log of 2 divided by log of 1.014 over 2. <laughs> They'd be like, uh, right, like they had no idea what that means. So that's why you would go ahead and put this in a calculator and um, our T, we're going to round here to being uh, 17 and a half years. And there it is. That's how long it would take. And I got 
fist number, but is punching that into the calculator. So that's how long it would take your money to double.